Hello world, welcome to Gossip Rail Works. Today I'll be doing a bit more work on the test track, which I still need to name. As you can see, I have painted it, but I do need to do a few fixes on it before I start adding a bit of uh, scenery. I'd only be working on the actual scenery, I'd be only working on the grass and what was the other thing? Uh, probably the ballasting, maybe a bit of no vegetation here and there but first thing to do is fix this road because it's a bugging bugging me quite a lot so I'll be good so I'll be trying some polyfiller if I can get into it there we go yep that's polyfiller um <laughs> It looks like my one's been tossed around a bit. Um, yeah. Oh, let's see, quickly try and get rid of that. Might get my gloves to do this, but. Yes. So, what I'm going to be doing is adding a bit of support here and basically just adding another route up because this seems a little too steep for cars to go up and I'm not all that impressed by it. Probably add a bit more you know, hill back there and basically try to make it look nice really. I might also try and sort some other bits out as well with anything else that bugs me. So I'll do a quick cut here and I'll show you me, uh, some book lesson. So, see you in a sec. Well then, as you can see, I pretty much just have a big glob, uh, glob of uh, polyfiller on there. Um, guess I need to wait for it to dry. Um, <laughs> uh, I've cleaned up for the most part. Also attempted to fill in this platform, but that didn't go all that well with polyfiller. Looks like I just had to use card like the other one. Uh, I'm gonna do that without. There we go. Um, uh, yeah. Gonna guess it's gonna take a little while to dry. So then. That's not too bad. Um, yeah. um, detail. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, guess I'll just put it somewhere and do something else for a little while. Maybe enough of video. Um, oh well. See you later on this week. See you in a sec. And here we are after doing a bit of painting and also some other things. Uh, most of all, I've done most of the ballasting. Seems to be holding quite well. I uh, haven't done this bit because I need to add some more dropper wires. And also over here because there's the points and they're also they're always annoying. You know, I've painted where the first two buildings which I've built uh, so far. Uh, they're currently over there somewhere. But yes, uh, what else have I done? Uh, got the wrong colour. Um, well, I've made and painted the platforms for the most part. I just need to do this little bit here, and then that's done. Uh, I still need to work on the uh, crossing, but otherwise, that's mostly done as well. Till I do some more work onto it, and also I've done the top here. Uh, I'm just going to be just so I can gain access into it as I can fit. No, I can't fit my hand in. I actually just realised I forgot to paint over there. Never mind, I'll do that later. Uh, what else? Yeah, for me to gain access into here, I'm going to cut a little hole in and make one of the fields a lift away panel. Uh, so I really can't be asked um, <laughs> to make the whole thing lift up. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll do another cut and then I'll bring you back when I'm about to um, do all the actual 
terrain scenery, whatever it's called. Foliage and all that lot. Anyway, that's in a bit. Right, here we go. I'll be doing the paint, uh, well, I say painting, I mean the um, grass, whatever it's called. Yeah, the grass um, in a moment. Just saying off what I've done since last clip. I finished most of the platform. Uh, originally I was going to paint it in just the bog standard uh, woodland scenics concrete but I found it a bit too light for my liking but if you mix it probably about 50-50 with the black it turns out to be this rather nice stony concrete colour which I find is more more suitable you probably can get concrete in this colour but I don't really like it. it's not quite like concrete round here as it is like I said fairly dark um, I might <clears throat> I might make it a bit lighter for another project maybe two to one but oh well uh, I've done all the ballasting pretty much I've got a few little slightly bare patch there but I can't be asked for that I can't stand ballasting um, <laughs> I don't think anybody really likes ballasting Anyway, uh, my next thing to do is basically cover this with grass. And I've been trying to decide if I want to do static grass or uh, scatter. <clears throat> and since it's mostly meant to be a fairly durable, um, no, I say I would say toy, but it's meant to be just a fairly durable test layout, I'm going to go with a big bag of scatter. Uh, it's the same scatter which I originally had on Renham Downs before I decided to put um, scat uh, static grass on it, but um, yeah, I decided to get no, just just decided to make it like this. Um, uh, my mix of glue is working out quite well for everything. It's a bit thicker than what the wooden scenic stuff is but probably just need to mix it up right uh, if you can see on the camera I have made out markings for where the buildings will be going there's one over there, another one there uh, you can already see where those ones are and there's one up on the hill <coughs> so yeah but I've got everything planned and I shall be doing I don't think it'll be time lapse, it'll be just what I normally do for uh, my building uh, videos where I just say it in stages so here we go Well then, here we go. I finally added the grass for the most part. Um, let's see. Well, let's see, I've done that for the most part because there is a few bits where I've missed a bit here and there. Uh, that bit I forgot to do yesterday. Uh, as you can see, I have done the brown bits for the field but I may need to give that a second coat and I've got to do that field but that's not really much of a problem I can do that off camera but yeah these bits that I've missed I could quite frankly I could hide them up with um, foliage which I'll be doing after this bit of video uh, I've skipped doing that corner because I've yet to work out what I'm doing which I've mentioned. I am doing this video over a couple of days, so I have forgotten some of what I'm doing. <laughs> so yes, I do. It's only gonna be a short bit, so yeah, I do a quick cut, and I'll show you what I've done after adding all the like, hedges and all that. I'm doing the trees next time, so here we go. 
and here we go I nearly forgot to turn sound on then um, <laughs> as you can see I've added some hedges and all that lot the trees come later I have been practicing with some uh, well building some of the buildings just to get an idea of where they well how big they really are so some bits of still falling off um, I think I've worked out an idea to what to put over there it's probably gonna be the back end of some houses most likely I might have to cut them up just to make them fit properly but oh well and yeah it's come along just need to slowly work on it and then buy some trees um, <laughs> Uh, I have missed off the patch up there because I can't remember how big the farmhouse is so I may have to do some more groundwork afterwards but yeah, it's not too much because I have to do that corner as well anyway this has been James from Gosport Railworks and I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you again next time ta now